Video Lecture 4F, Gas Evolution Reactions. There are certain acid-base reactions that will result in a gas-base product, which can be observed bubbling out of the solution. These acid-base reactions occur between any acid and a salt that can be considered weakly basic. For now, we won't worry about what makes the salt weakly basic we will only study three classifications of gas evolution reactions. The gas that forms may be due to the direct combination of two ions, or it can be due to the decomposition of an unstable intermediate. We will discuss three classes of gas evolution reactions. The first is between an acid and a sulfide, or the S2- ion. Reactions between sulfides and acids will result in the direct formation of hydrogen sulfide gas, or H2S. For example, if we react lithium sulfide with nitric acid, we can determine what the products are by doing a double displacement. If we combine the H plus ions from the nitric acid with the sulfide ion from lithium sulfide, we will, we will get H2S which will bubble out of solution as a gas. The second product comes from the combination of lithium plus ions and nitric, nitrate ions, resulting in the formation of lithium nitrate. As we've done before, we can write complete and net ionic equations for the reactions, for our reaction. Since lithium sulfide is considered a strong electrolyte, we can dissociate it into lithium plus ions and, sulfate, and the sulfide ion. Nitric acid is also considered a strong electrolyte since it's a strong acid. We can dissociate nitric acid into H plus ions and nitrate ions while carrying the two to both ions. Hydrogen sulfide gas should not be dissociated into ions. However, we can dissociate lithium, lithium nitrate into lithium ions and nitrate ions. We can study our complete ionic equation and figure that out that the lithium ions and the nitrate ions are spectator ions. Therefore, we can cancel them out to arrive at our net ionic equation, which reads that the sulfide, sulfide ion plus two hydrogen plus ions we yield hydrogen sulfide gas. The second type of gas evolution reaction is when an acid is reacted with either a carbonate or bicarbonate compound. The bicarbonate ion is HCO3 minus. When these and carbonates are reacted, are reacted with acids, it results in the formation of carbonic acid or H2CO3. For example, when sodium bicarbonate or baking soda is reacted with hydrochloric acid, this result, we can do a double displacement to predict the products. If we combine sodium, chlor sodium in the chloride ion, we'll get sodium chloride and the intermediate carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is unstable in aqueous solution and readily decomposes to form carbon dioxide gas and water. We can combine the two equations, one for the double displacement reaction and the second one for the decomposition of carbonic acid to get our final equation. Note that the bicarbonate ion appears on the right side of the first equation and the left side of the second equation. This allows them to cancel out, giving us our net reaction. Sodium bicarbonate and hydrochloric acid will yield sodium chloride, carbon dioxide gas, and water. We can take this equation and also write complete and ionic equations. Sodium bicarbonate is a strong electrolyte and will dissociate to form sodium ions and bicarbonate ions. Hydrochloric acid is also a strong electrolyte as a strong acid and can be, decom 
these dissociated to form hydrogen plus ions and chloride ions. We can also dissociate sodium chloride into sodium and chloride ions, since it is a strong electrolyte. However, we do not want to dissociate carbon dioxide gas or liquid water, since they're pure, a pure gas and a pure liquid. By studying our reaction, we see that sodium and the chloride ions are spectators. We can cancel them out to arrive at our net ionic equation. Bicarbonate ion plus the hydrogen ion yields carbon dioxide and water. The last type of gas evolution reaction results from the combination of an acid and a sulfite or bisulfate ion. The sulfite ion is SO3 2 minus. And bisulfite is HSO3 minus. When either of these, either of these are in a compound that reacts with an acid, they'll form the sulfurous acid molecule as a product. For example, when potassium sulfite and sulfuric acid are reacted, we can do a double displacement, which results in the formation of potassium sulfate and sulfurous acid. Like carbonic acid, sulfurous acid is unstable in aqueous solution and will decom decompose to form sulfur dioxide gas, which will bubble out of solution, and liquid water. Once again, we can combine our decomposition and double displacement reactions, which will result in the canceling out of the sulfurous acid molecule. Therefore, our net reaction between potassium sulfite and sulfuric acid will result in potassium sulfate, sulfur dioxide gas, and liquid water. Once again, we can write complete and net ionic equations for this reaction. Potassium sulfite is considered a strong electrolyte. Therefore, we can dissociate it into two potassium ions and a sulfite ion. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid and therefore a strong electrolyte. We can decompose it into two hydrogen ions plus a sulfate ion. Potassium sulfate is considered a strong electrolyte and we can dissociate it into two potassium ions and the sulfate ion. Sulf sulfur dioxide and water are pure gas or a pure gas and a pure liquid and we therefore do not dissociate it into ions. If you look at our complete ionic equation, we'll find that potassium and sulfate are considered spectator ions. We can therefore cancel it out, them out to get our final net ionic equation. Sulfate, sulfite plus two hydrogen ions will yield sulfur dioxide gas and water. So to summarize, there are three types of gas evolution reactions. They all, they all very generally follow the same pattern. If we react the acid with the weakly basic salt, we will get an ionic compound, a gas, and maybe water. When acids are combined with weakly basic salts, weakly ba sulf metal sulfides, we will get an ionic compound formed between the metal and the, and the counter ion for the acid, and we will get H2S gas. When an acid is combined with either a carbonate or bicarbonate, you will also get a metal, an ionic compound, carbon dioxide gas, and water. And finally, if we react an acid with a metal sulfite or metal bisulfite, we will get an ionic compound, sulfur dioxide gas, and water.